I think this year was awesome, full of good times with great people. Last year, community left us with some unforgettable memories. Nice try, but the truth is, it's been a dark year. Pierce got hooked on painkillers, Shirley's having a baby, and apparently Chang is in the group now. I got this. Ah! Ah! Oh, what are you doing? Trust me. And though some memories are hard to imagine. I can't believe I believe you, and I don't. The adventures they shared brought the study group closer than ever. I knew it! Yeah! Remember when Abed had a total mental breakdown at Christmas? That was adorable and magical. He thought everything was claymation. We're in outer Christmas space. With a year so big, the finale didn't disappoint. How is this even possible? It began with a dream, Annie. A dream and an impulse to hide in the men's room. I found that people were willing to roll bullets under the door just for the right to take a dump. Uh, season two ended with, um, a massive two-part paintball war. It was a great war. We won our college back from uh, City College, and uh, but the uh, the whole episode does end on a pretty um, somber note. We're not sure if Pierce is coming back to the group or not. We, we trust each other. We're a study group. That's pretty warm and fuzzy talk coming from you, Pierce. Mm -hmm. You've kind of acted like a villain this year. I have. The joy. Jeff, of course, does not want him back in the group. We're always nice to you, Pierce. Wrong. Wrong. Three days ago, I walked in on you guys playing cards without me. Three days ago. We weren't playing cards, we were voting, and you weren't invited because we were voting about you. What? We were taking a vote on whether we'd invite you back to the group next year. Everybody set? Here we go. Ready, action. Now that the new school year is about to start, changes seem to be looming through the halls of Greendale. How you like me now, bitches? Dean, you seem different. Are you in a play right now? Okay. Over the summer, I decided it's time to whip this place into shape. I'm gonna be a lean, mean, deaning machine. No more paintball, no more spaceships, no more trampoline. This is the kind of national lampoonery that's coming to an end this year. Homie, don't dean this. We come back for the new year, and we have some new teachers, and um, it is not clear yet whether Pierce is back in the group or not. Things happen, though, in the episode that will answer a lot of questions about that. We're really doing this without Pierce? It's so sad. Yep. We have parted ways with our closest, oldest, craziest, most racist, oldest, elderly, crazy friend. And he's not coming back. But we have a new vice dean, John Goodman, the Sir John Goodman. He's so good. I can't believe he's here. I... You wanted to feel real power this year. Well, that's exactly what you're going to feel. Now you're going to feel my power. My character is Vice Dean uh, Laburn, and he is the head of the air conditioning repair annex. And they bring a great deal of money into the community college. Now, I see. You use school funds to buy an espresso machine for your faculty break room. I don't seem to recall being consulted on that. We don't consult you on anything. I think it is the first of several showdowns, and I, I won this one hands down, but not to give away any secrets, but uh, yeah, we were doing a little laughter at the end of it, which is great because I wanted to laugh through the whole scene, so I got it out of my system. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, John Goodman would be such a home run for us, so we're so excited. It's already really fun to work with him. The, the 